Good evening. Today we're going to talk about the Roly 35S 35mm camera, which is extremely compact. This is the smallest 35mm uh, camera ever produced. It comes in this nice uh, zippered case, by the way, which stays on the uh, strap, by the way. So, anyway, this camera was produced between uh, 1966 and um, 1980. The first production was in uh, uh, Germany, and then this it was it, the production switched to Singapore, I believe, in 1971. The 35S, however, is the more advanced uh, version of this camera. It has a five-element sonar lens, and um, which is, I think, a little bit better than the original lens that the first that first came with this camera when it first came out. Uh, just going over some of these features, it has a number of uh, features that are aimed to make the camera a bit smaller, or quite a bit smaller, I should say. First, we have the uh, f-stop wheel, which is over here on the right as you look at, down at the camera from above, and over here on the other side is the uh, film advance, excuse me, the films, rather the shutter speed uh, dial, excuse me. And uh, of course, here's your lens. Now the lens um, pops open. Simply pull it out like this and turn it a little bit to the left to uh, click it in place. The rewind um, crank is over here on the bottom. This is your uh, film counter. Here's your tripod socket. Here is the uh, little lever to open up the back. And this is your, of course, your. Um, hot shoe for your flash. Uh, there's no PC connection by the way in this camera. Over here is the um, little window for the exposure meter and this is the window for the viewfinder. There is no range finder. You focus by by estimating distances uh, by using the markings on the lens barrel. Um, up on top we have the film advance uh, lever we also have the lever to re the button that releases the lens so you can collapse it again and the shutter speed and excuse me the, uh, the shutter release button and over here is the um, exposure meter window <coughs> and of course here is your viewfinder this is the rewind uh, lever you would flip this up when you want to rewind your film okay and that's about it so let's uh, let's try and put some uh, film in this camera and uh, I'll show you how that's done. Take out a roll of film. And uh, first we're going to um, open up the back. To do that again we open up this lever here. Ease off the back. Flip open the, uh, the pressure plate. We'll drop in our film. And before I do this, I just want to point out that the battery is in this compartment up here. So you have to be um, in the process of changing your film before you can uh, change your battery. Now first we're going to stick the uh, leader into the take-up spool, as, usual, as you would do usually. And then, you know, turn the spool a little bit here. Make sure everything is all in there. Okay. Flip, flip, flip back your uh, pressure plate. And then locate the back of your camera, of course. And put the camera back together again. Flip back here. And we should be all set to go. We're going to knock off a few exposures here. Make sure we're all set to go. And now we're all set to take pictures. Uh, this camera was actually produced in the twilight of mechanical cameras. Um, soon after, or rather really towards the end of this production here, um, cameras started coming out with automatic film advance, zoom lenses, uh, you know, compact cameras with zoom lenses, um, automatic focusing, automatic flash, and so on and so forth. So that really uh, kind of put this uh, camera out of the ballpark for most um, photographers for most, you know, casual photographers anyway. Um, but even so, uh, back in the 1970s, it was pretty common to see a even a professional photographer have one of these in his um, 
camera bag in the event that uh, his real camera you know went south so anyway that's the story of the Roly 35s I hope you enjoyed this video thanks